morning everybody so we are going to do um, a pour this morning so one of my favorite canvas sizes to work with is the 18 by 24 um, I like larger canvases I don't really work with smaller canvases probably one of the smallest you will see me work with is a 14 by 18 um, I just really like large canvases so today we are gonna do an 18 by 24 this is a level one hardest loft canvas all of our materials today are going to be deco art, except for, of course, the canvas because they don't make canvases. So again, it's an 18 by 24 artist loft canvas. Our pouring medium today is going to be the deco art pouring medium. I get um, this at Hobby Lobby, but you can also get it on their website at decoart.com. And our colors, let me put my coffee down real quick. Our colors are the deco art, um, media fluid acrylics line and they are one of my favorites um you can get them on decoart.com i haven't found them in stores yet but that's where i get mine so we've got the cobalt teal hue carbon black pyrrole red cadmium orange hue and dioxine purple so those are our colors today And if I can find it, our canvas was prepped with the, uh, here it is, with the Deco Art um, Americana Outdoor Living Iron Gate is what our canvas is prepped with. This is going to be a multi-flip cup. We have our colors here on the side. All of the colors are three ounces of the pouring medium and one ounce of paint. I always use a scale, so I got this scale on Amazon. I will put the link down in the description for it. Um, so I always measure. Um, so this is what I use. So it's three ounces of pouring medium, one ounce of paint. And this is an 18 by 24. You need about 15 ounces of, I did 15 ounces of pouring medium and then another one ounce of paint for each color. So we have about 20 ounces of paint, probably a little more than what we need but I don't wanna to have to stretch it too, too much. So we are gonna go ahead and get started. Like I said, this is gonna be a multi-cup flip. And I need one more cup and we will get started.
All right, everybody, we are done. I just realized that my other light wasn't on. We are done. I love this painting. It is absolutely gorgeous, um, if I do say so myself. So um, I'm going to bring y'all down for a closer look. I forgot to mention the reason I had the tape on the corners is so when I flipped it, the flip the cups, we didn't lose a whole lot of paint over the side until we got our corners covered. Um, so that's why I had the tape there was to kind of hold the paint on until we got this section done and then we can pull the paint down. So this is all done. It is going to make for some beautiful macro shots, but I'm going to go ahead and bring y'all down. Uh, this is part one of a part two series. Okay. So part two is going to be um, the vinyl. If we put a vinyl on this one or if we just get it all sealed together. So that will be part two. But we are going to go ahead and wrap up part one. I know a lot of people just like to see the painting itself. So that's what you're getting. Again, this was a Deco Art Pouring Medium and their Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylics Paints. Three to one ratio, three ounces of pouring medium and one ounce of paint. And that last color that I put in the purple, um, everything layered on top of each other except for the purple. A purple, or I, I poured the purple from a higher level and had it puncture all the way through the paint to get the mixtures going in the cups. Down in the description, you'll find all of the paint colors used as well as the mixture ratios and links to any of the materials that you need um, that I can find links for. Also in the description, links to my Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, as well as my website, guidedbyfaithdesigns.net. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing everybody in part two. And until then, God bless and stay tuned for the uh, macro shots.